what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile Hi guys, welcome back again to the channel Today we are making a very simple top We are making a very simple handkerchief top As you can see so i'll be making use of one and a half yards for this very simple top the video is going to be a quick one so before we continue please give this video a thumbs up so that others can see it as well and watch thank you so much and if you are new you are highly welcome and cheese some and please subscribe to join the family and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified for more videos so guys with that being said let's get started So guys, for this top, I have one and a half yards of crepe material. The amount of yards you need for this top depends on the length of your top. If you want it long, longer, then you go for maybe two yards. Or if you want it the same length with me, the length of my top is going to be 27 inches. So if you want it the same length with me, you will go for one and a half yards. So if you want it to be shorter, then you can make use of one yard. So I have one and a half yards here. And I'm going to place it on fold. So I'll fold it into two. First, this is actually a very simple and quick tutorial. After folding into two, the next folding will be like this, into four. So guys, I've placed my fabric on fold. As you can see, I've folded it into four places. And along this side, I have 27. And towards this side, I also have 27 inches. And here, the remaining part of it, the remaining material here will be for my belt. Do you understand? So this is how to place your fabric on fold. So at this point, this side is the closed side. Can you see? On that point, I'll add my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement is 16. Divide by 2, give us 8. So I'll measure 8 inches and mark. So the neck width is going to be 4.5. You can make use of any neck width and neck depth of your choice. So 4.5 is the neck width for this style. So, the next thing I'm going to measure now is the neck depth. I'll be marking one inch for the neck depth. And I'll connect. This neck depth is for the front and back. For the front and back. So, if you want a separate neck depth for the front, after cutting the back side, then you are going to arrange it to cut only to cut the front side and add the neck depth of your choice do you understand so guys after marking the neck depth the next thing i'll be doing is to add my armhole depth here on the shoulder measurement my armhole depth is eight for you to get your armhole depth just measure your round armhole and divide it by two do you understand so for me my my armhole depth is eight and for this type of style i'm going to still divide that eight inches by two i'll be using half of it do you get so eight divided by two will give me four so i'm going to come here and measure four inches at the shoulder measurements and the four inches will be my armhole depth so i'll measure four inches here and mark so I'll draw a straight line. So for this particular style, this is my armhole depth. Then the next thing I'll be doing is to make a little curve at that point. So on this line, on this armhole depth, I'll measure half inch on this side and half inch on this side. As if you want to add a dart. So I'll do that now. Half inch on both sides. Half inch, half inch. So altogether, what I have here is one inch. 
from this four inches armhole depth i'll make a very slight curve to the one inch can you see what i just did a very slight curve to that half inch do you understand so this is the only thing we need for this top so the next thing i'll be doing now is to cut it out i hope you understand it's a very simple top anyone can make it so i'm going to cut it out now guys after cutting this is what i have so that by the time by the time you place it like this can you see by the time you place it like this you get your complete armhole depth which is eight inches so this is what i have eight inches so this is the only thing we need for this top so if i open it up this is how it looks This is how it looks. So the next step is to go over to the machine and stitch. We are going to stitch with this bias. So I'm going to sew this and sew this with a bias tape. So if you want, if you don't want to make use of a bias tape, you can just weave it. You weave this side, weave this side, and just weave it, and that is all. But I'm going to go and use, we are going to be making use of bias tape to turn these openings. And after that, the next is to weave the edges and your top is ready. So, like I said, it's a very simple top. Anyone can do this. So, go ahead and give it a try. And let me know your results in the comment section. So, guys, let's go over to the machine and completes the top okay i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up on my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Gotta stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away
this is what we have i hope you like it if you like it go ahead and give this video a thumbs up this is just a very simple top very simple but beautiful top okay so this is the next shape this is the armhole and this is the second armhole as it is like this you can make use of anywhere as your front or back but in case you want a different neck shape for the front what you need to do is just to fold it in this direction, mark the center, and then you will draw the next shape of your choice for the front side. So that is it, before you now use your bias to turn. So this is my belt. And yeah, if you like this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up and share. Share for others to watch as well. So, this is how the top will look like. Can you see? This is how it will look like. Yeah. So, this is the handkerchief top. So, in case you want to put sleeve, you can still put sleeve if you want. You cut your sleeve and put it here. On this armhole. So, just feel free to do what you want. So I'll go ahead and put it on the mannequin for us to appreciate what we have. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I'll see you again. For now, it is bye-bye.